A single drop of snake venom can cause human blood to clot in seconds. And there are more than 250 species on Earth that can kill a human with a single bite. There are two main ways snake venom works by attacking the circulatory system and or the nervous system. Hematoxic venom attacks the bloodstream, triggering lots of tiny blood clots. The venom punches holes in the blood vessels and the person bleeds to death. Neurotoxic venom attacks the nervous system and stops nerve signals from getting through to the muscles. This can result in full body paralysis that if untreated, leads to paralysis of the diaphragm. The person then can't breathe and dies. Even if the individual doesn't die, necrosis can set in around the area of the bite. The venom destroys nearby muscles, tissues, and cells, which can end up requiring amputations. Snake venom is produced in glands in the back of the snake's head and is delivered through hollow fangs that act like hypodermic needles. When a snake bites, muscles in its head squeeze the venom glands, which push the liquid through its fangs and into the flesh of its prey. The venom is ejected with a velocity equivalent to that of a water pistol, and it can travel four to eight feet. Fortunately, we have a way to fight back, anti-venoms. To create an anti-venom, scientists inject small amounts of venom into domestic animals, such as horses or sheep. The animals produce powerful antibodies that bind to snake venom components, and these antibodies are harvested and purified from the blood for use in humans. Anti-venoms work by boosting our immune response after a snake bite. A good quality anti-venom can literally be the difference between life and death. Unfortunately, anti-venoms are produced in limited quantities and are very expensive, which means most people can't obtain them. Snake's venom has diversified over time, making it more complex and more toxic than it was hundreds of thousands of years ago. This makes it difficult to develop a universal anti-venom, which could target a wide variety of snake bites. Additionally, production of one of the best anti-venoms, which protected against the bite of 10 different types of snake, stopped in 2014 as it wasn't profitable. The last vials expired in 2016, which has led to a race to produce an effective and affordable replacement. About 5 million people worldwide are bitten by snakes a year. 100,000 people die, and another 400,000 are left permanently disabled or disfigured by the bites. As shocking as these numbers are, they could be even higher, as the nations that are most affected often don't keep track of snake bites. This makes producing a viable, universal anti-venom increasingly important.